All right, hey, Chipola Nation, we're here with Coach Brendan Foley, head coach of the Chipola Indians. How you doing, Coach? Good. How are All right. you? All right. Man, we are in the last round of conference season now. I can't believe how quickly that happened. Yeah, yeah. Good gracious. Only four games left. Well, we got to buy Wednesday. Okay. But that's the, that's the last, um, I guess, games of round, round two. Okay. So so, um, so we're off. Uh, to, we're talking today on Tuesday, and, and we're off on uh, Wednesday, February. What, what date is that? The 5th? Yep. February fifth, and we're back back in action Saturday, Saturday at Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, where are we in the in the race now? Uh, we're four and four. Okay, we're not, um, we we had won three in a row. Uh huh. Um, Saturday we were up for thirty nine minutes and forty nine seconds. Um, you know, I, I got to be careful what I say, but right. you know, I felt like should be four and zero that round. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of a free throw disparity, uh -huh. if, you'll, okay. yeah, if you will. I, I think um, I get your drift. Yeah. You know, but um, we still got a chance. Uh -huh. Still got a chance. As, as much as everything has gone against us with injuries and, and stuff, um, we just got to focus on Saturday. Yeah. Um, and, and take it one game at a time. Yep. So we're we're headed over to Tallahassee. How have we done against them in in the previous m matches? We have split. Um, the first time we lost by two, okay. um, you know, they shot the ball extremely well. They played well. Um, first half, second half, it was a little more even, made some mm -hmm. defensive adjustments, you know, to me, a little bit too many turnovers. Um, but had a chance to, to tie it at the end, and, and they went it by two over here. We played well. Um, had a big cushion in the first half, got up by um, 22, I uh -huh. believe, and then um, they made some shots at the end. Um, we went it by eight. So. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty balanced. All right. Um, both two high-level teams. Okay. So what do we got to do to to be successful against them this time? Uh, defend, rebound, not turn it over. Okay. All right. Pretty simple. And we're getting formula. we're getting better yeah. with the with the turnovers. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and and you know Saturday was a little bit um, you know back up in the, you know twenty which uh -huh. which again that's the that's the number I don't want to hear. That's too but many. Defensively, you know that they shot the ball twenty seven percent, twenty six from three. We out rebound them, uh -huh. but. You know, for some reason, they shoot 42 free throws. We shoot 17. Uh -huh. And for 20 minutes, we're in a zone. Yeah. And, you know, I just – I'm dumbfounded that a team that can press and trap um, and play a little bit more aggressive style defensively, you know, doesn't get fouls. And, and yeah. somehow they're getting bailed out on the other end. And, you know, we're getting penalized for yeah. our, our length and size and athleticism. So, yeah. you know, that's that's a separate um, deal. And, and I don't want, again, I don't want to get into that. No, no, um, that's, but, but – that was, you know, it was, it's sad that, that, that the game was decided by that because right, right. Um, I thought that the team that, you know, deserved to win that necessarily did. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, All right, and then, um, Coach, we come back here February 12th. Uh, is that a Wednesday, too, or is that a Saturday? Wednesday. That's we, a Wednesday? We only got one, one home Saturday game this year. And okay. It, and, um, you know, last round, it, every team we played was coming off a bye. Uh -huh. so oh, man. Just, so, um, you know, I don't know what they what they do the scheduling against Chipola, yeah. but um, – um, we uh, Wednesdays are our home games from here on out. Okay, so we got Northwest Florida State on Wednesday, yep. February twelfth, mm -hmm. and um, have now have we beaten them both times we played them? We have. Okay, yeah. so so hopefully we'll get a we'll get a win there, and then uh, we head over to Pensacola. How have we done against them? Split. We've split. split with yeah, them? first okay. time we um, we were up fifteen in the second half, um, turned it over twenty four times, uh -huh. lost by two. And then uh, we, we beat them last Wednesday at home okay. by 15. Um, so we split. All right. And then we finish the, the conference uh, here on February 19th, hosting Gulf Coast. Yeah. And uh, so let's look at the standings. Right now, uh, Gulf Coast is in first, 6-1, uh, and one, Tallahassee 5-2. Mm -hmm. and two. And then Chipola, we're right there at four and four. So we are still we are still in this thing. I mean, yeah. if no. we control our destiny, if, if we play well, we can certainly um, – Make a bid for the state tournament. Yeah, you know, Gulf Coast and Tallahassee play Wednesday, uh -huh. so either either someone's gonna have two losses or three losses. Yeah, they gotta play again around three. Obviously, we get a chance to play each one of those uh -huh. again. So, we just gotta you know take it one game at a time. And um, yeah, again, I, last round I challenged them, and I thought we were playing as good, if not better, than anybody in, in the league. Uh -huh. You know, we we go to Northwest, we win. I thought we, you know, we. I'm not going to say dominate, but we're in control. Yeah. Where's Tallahassee from start to finish? Play Pensacola in control start to finish. Play Gulf Coast, we're in control start to finish, except for 11 seconds. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, they can't they can't deter themselves from, from Saturday with the result of how it was, the outcome was determined right. because we're, we're playing very well. And um, 
if we continue that mentality and the way we're playing, then you know this is yeah. we can do this. Yeah. Um, like I said, the last time we won the league, we were eight and four. Right. Um, and, and going into that game, it was um, Pensacola was seven and four, Northwest was seven and four. We were seven and four, and uh -huh. Pensacola was played a separate opponent, but they were eight and four. We were eight and four, and we beat them two out of three, so we were that right champs. But yeah, you know, eight and four, I still think this year can get you second or may maybe first. Yeah, I don't wow. know. It's it's just that's, that's incredible. It's, it's a, been a it's while. about as balanced year. as I've yeah. ever seen it um, yeah. in 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 the history of the Panhandle. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just absolutely amazing. Well, coach, we're excited. When when is the uh, when's the state tournament? Oh, it's usually March 6th through 9th or okay. 7th through 10th, something like that. All right, and that's mm -hmm. going to be uh, in Niceville this year yeah. at Northwest Florida State. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully we can we can get a bid in there and uh, and play close to home, have a big fan base. Uh, Definitely. Fantastic. Uh, let's talk about something real quick. Um, I know I saw you yesterday um, over at the funeral of Kay Trammell, and um, we were so sad to lose, um, you know, one of, one of the Chipola family, uh, Robert Trammell, um, has been, you know, one of the biggest supporters of this program. He mm -hmm. played here in the 60s, and he's been the uh, president of the Appreciation Club for years, and, and his wife Kay has been, has been right there with him. And, and the tremendous uh, outpouring of, um, of friends and emotions yesterday was uh, – it, it was very nice. And when you have Cliff Ellis speak at your funeral, mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was a very nice – a very nice service, and, and we will miss her, and, and we look forward to Robert, uh, you know, getting back involved in sports yep. and, and really helping us. He, uh, and and as, he, as he tells you, he's with you win, win, or win. That's um, right. He wants, to, he wants Chipola to be the best, yep. and he does everything he can to make sure that happens. Yeah, so, uh, definitely. We, we, uh, um, obviously, thoughts and prayers with, with the Trammels right now, and it was, a, it was an unbelievable service yesterday, and um, just the, how many familiar faces you see there just – reflects Kay and right. her personality and the impact she had on others. And I think that was the biggest thing that we took from Coach Ellis's eulogy, just uh -huh. her impact and how she changed lives and just her love and care for others. Yeah. And I yeah. think it was um, reflected yesterday. Yeah. It was just it was, a, it was a perfect service for her. Yeah, very inspiring. Well, Coach, we wish you the best in the last round, and uh, go Indians. Thanks.